I can be inspired from the way I see someone look at someone else by some way I'm feeling at a certain point in time, of course, but uh, just everyday themes I try to write about and uh, hopefully people can relate to that when they listen to the songs because someone can say, God damn, that happens to me or, you know, I've been there, I, I, know, what, I know what he's feeling, or, you know, so that's, I just try to keep it, keep it real to people. hanging instantly and simultaneously moves out the window at once. Basically, I think either me, myself, or Paul DeLuca will come up with either I'll come up with a vocal melody, a really good vocal melody, or a guitar part, or Paul will come up with a good guitar part. We'll just start fucking around. Andy will come up with a beat. Paul comes up with a line. Each each person brings a little bit something a little bit different. We just kind of show up and say, "Hey, listen to this," and then you know another guy says, "Oh, that sounds good." Let me add some of this. Else just kind of comes together that way. It's, you know, either it works or it doesn't. If it doesn't, then we just move on. Everybody in the band, uh, they, they all, <laughs> they're all pretty insane, really. I mean, as a unit, we're all pretty much nuts. Hey, motherfucker. Come on! Mother oh, I was talking shit about you! No, I heard you! Alright, fuck you. What? You had toilet paper on your oh, fucking oh. shoe! We're always on the verge of destruction. Killing each other, but we're okay, pretty tight group. We all blend real well. I'm glad we're able to stick it through. <laughs> Definitely uh, fronts the band very well. I met him when I met Paul over at work, so. Quite a character. Uh, 
we met in 2001 when we both started working at IBM. I had just moved to New York in search of my whole band. And uh, I knew, you know, after a few seconds he was nuts. But a good nuts. And, you know, I gravitated towards him. A lot of people do. Um, he's one of my best friends out here. He'd do anything for me, and I definitely would do anything for him. He's uh, the backbone of melody, I believe, in the band. <laughs> Our drummer Andy calls him the glue, he holds it all together, you know, the chaos in itself. And I definitely think that's the truth. Uh, actually, he's the quietest one of them all, uh, but he's insane if you can twist him. So. Gotta keep a close eye on that guy and figure out what's going on. It's so great, man. I like it when you smash the things and you would. It's good.